now. Take a step outside and seize the... Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here. Today I want to take just a second to see what's inside this here box. How y'all doing today? So, we've got another box from Mass Drop. Well, they used to be Mass Drop. I guess now they're just Drop or Drop.com. I don't know how to call them anymore because they changed their name and I don't deal with change well. Anyway, we picked up another piece from them. Quick wrist check. It is the Seiko Ice Monster. It is a Seiko 5 and it may be a little bit of a hint to what's in the box. Choose our Rat 5 and pop it open and see what's inside. And true to my word, it is another Seiko. Slide it out of the sleeve. And typical standard Seiko box. We all know them. We all love them. Pop the hood. And we see that it is a 50 Fathoms. I have wanted one of these for a very long time. Let me get you guys zoomed in. Alright, got you guys zoomed in so you can take a better look at that dial. Now this is the Seiko 50 Fathoms. Now for those that don't know, Seiko doesn't actually name their watches. Their fans do. Uh, they're so popular that their fans have decided not to call them by their numbers. Uh, by their model numbers, but to give them names. And this particular model is the 50 Fathoms. Now its actual number, reference number from Seiko is SNZH. So all the SNZHs are 50 Fathoms. They come in different colorations. And this is a 53K1. So this is not the Japanese one. Um, I believe it is Taiwan or China, one of the two, not sure. But uh, that's what the K1, if it was a J1, that would be the Japanese-made variant. They all look the same. Uh, they're just made in different places. Now this guy is running, as it so kindly indicates on the card, the 7S36 movement. Uh, it is not hacking. So no hacking, no hand winding, but bulletproof and accurate. We do have the day-date complication at the 3 o'clock, uh, which is bordered in that silver. Really do like the way that looks. And then we have that gorgeous, gorgeous sun, blue sunburst on the dial in this blue model. Really, really good looking. Those silver bars at the hours and the uh, painted minute track around the outside there got the applied Seiko and the applied 5 for 5 sports and then painted automatic 23 joules and 100 meters of water resistance you got a dive bezel nice tight clicks a little bit tight on the movement this almost Bakelite uh, insert it's just a I don't know probably a piece of mineral or hard lex in there uh, the crystal is hard lex you can see here it is domed gives it that really nice uh, look. I think this thing is going to look gorgeous out in the sunlight. And I forgot a piece of plastic. Why did I forget a piece of plastic? So much like our ice monster here, let me pull this guy off. We can see that the bracelets are very similar. Now obviously the cases are different, uh, so where they meet up with the lugs is going to be different. but. There are some similarities in the bracelet. Now they're not the same, uh, but you can see the little bit of polish here on the link for both of them. You get the brushed, you know, pretty much everywhere else. There's an extra set of tracks down the side of the 50 fathoms. We come back around to the clasp, and it's basically the same clasp, you know, with the branded Seiko logo. And you can see from my ice monster here that it will scratch up over time, get a little desk rash on it. Um, but it's going to hold up and look nice, you know, for the most part, for a very long time. Um, you know, Seiko always does a good job on their polish, 
so that's going to hold up as well um, in their brushwork. So, you know, it's hard to go wrong with a Seiko. Get you guys zoomed back in. Now, this, like I said, is hard lex on top, so it's not going to be super strong. Um, it's basically Seiko's variant of mineral crystal. Now there is the Seiko Lumi Bright for Lume on here, and we will check that out in the full review, which will come later down the road. Uh, we will do Lume shots. You've got these nice sword hands uh, for the hour and the minute. Let me go ahead and, well, I do have it set for my time. I will separate them so you can take a look at them there. Really nice. See that minute there? That second hand is still sweeping, even though I've got the crown pulled out. So no hacking, as we mentioned before. There is no branding on the crown. Get kind of this nice almost a pie pan shape not quite but pretty close you know where it curves underneath really nice and you've got a display case back to see that uh, 7s36 back here in the back nice big display window and of course you've got the uh, all the jibber jabber written all over the glass there you know the Seiko and the 23 jewels and da 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 but it's always nice to be able to see in the back. Uh, now this guy does have uh, solid links, which is going to make that bracelet a little bit hefty, but it's going to feel nice on the or it should feel nice on the wrist. Um, I think this is a nice size. Now from drop, I did pay a hundred and fifty six ninety three or hundred fifty six ninety six for this guy. That's a pretty good deal because they generally go for around 170 ballpark. You can find them a little less, a little more, depending on where you go. Um, so Drop generally has pretty good deals when they post them up there. And they post these up fairly regularly, both the K1s and the J1s. You do pay more. I think it's 20 bucks extra for the J1s. I'll quickly pop it on wrist. Now, it is not sized for my 7-inch wrist, but we're going to take a look at it anyway. Probably about three links big, I think. Boy, that's going to look really sharp on there, especially out in that sunlight when we can catch that sunburst. That is going to be gorgeous. I'm trying to catch it in the light so you guys can really see the shine this thing has. It is beautiful. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this real quick unboxing of the Seiko 50 Fathoms. Now, if I don't see you guys before Thanksgiving, I really do want to wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving. I personally am very thankful for each and every one of you that take time out of your busy day to come and watch me jibber jabber on YouTube. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you, how much I appreciate the fact that you guys take the time to to hit the subscribe button and actually watch the videos, you know, that you take the time to bap on that like button like it owes you money. You know, it it really does mean a lot to me and I'm very very thankful. So that's going to do it for today. We'll come back with a full review down the road in a little ways. Till next time, guys. Y'all, get out there, make some noise. See ya.